if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please stand. Mighty God. Stand like you are ready to receive. Don't stand like you are like you are ready to receive. I want you to believe. Do not doubt. God is faithful. You are standing in for yourself. Some of you are standing in for others. I want to speak by the Spirit. You see, in the atmosphere of the prophetic, we are not careless with words. I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wished. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I want you to stand. I want to pray for you now. There is a name that is above every other name. You believe me on that. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you right now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, according to the time of life, return with your miracle. According to the time of life, return with your miracle. According to the time of life, return with your miracle. According to the time of life, return. I veto every medical report by the investment of the Spirit, by the mercy of God. You have believed, therefore I declare, return with supernatural testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. God bless you. You are trusting God for a supernatural job. Please stand. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise a sound We raise a sound for he is God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise the sound. We raise the sound. Over the nations of the earth Hallelujah 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 I decree and declare Over the many who are truly trusting God to honor them With the kind of job that allows you the liberty to serve God not the kind of job that brings down your spiritual life i pray for you because you have believed return with strange testimonies i place grace upon your life return with strange testimonies some of you as early as tomorrow let favor come to your doorsteps supernatural surprises by the power of prophecy in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated please be seated please be seated I prayed a prayer in Canada I think it was and I'm stirred in my heart to pray that prayer right now if you have a child that is autistic I want you to stand or you are trusting God for a miracle over an autistic child stand please stand stand with faith stand believing huh. Thank you, 
Shadi Gede, La Caparantas, Inama, Sibalato, Sevene Keparas, Shabi Raka, Porato, Sabratege, Beleka Paranto, Skiata. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I decree and declare right now over every parent, over every sibling standing on behalf of an autistic child in the name that is above all names we declare healing now we declare healing now we declare perfect soundness perfect coordination in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please be seated i'm not going to ask you to stand on this one but i want you to receive i want to pray over people who are in debt financial situations you are in a serious financial situation and you know that only god can bring you out of this listen when you hear a prophetic word like this if it concerns you know that god is answering your prayer are we together and don't be careless don't be undiscerning don't be like jacob he said the lord was in this place and i knew not hallelujah god is able to help men he's able to turn your mourning to dancing and even your sorrow to joy let me pray for someone who is neck deep in a serious financial situation that while other people were celebrating and dancing and rejoicing you couldn't because the reality the, the situation you're in right now needs a miracle this is beyond creativity you need a miracle first i pray for you in the name of jesus the woman came to the prophet and said they're about to take two of my children my husband is dead i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may my god i don't know about your god but may my god schedule help us to bail you out schedule help us to bail you out help us ordained by god to bail you out regardless the financial calamity i speak over your life i speak over your destiny this is a sound of revival it includes everything that brings glory to God. Let me speak over someone's finances. Enjoy the help that lady. Enjoy the ministry of help us. Enjoy the ministry of help us. Men and women sent by God to help you smile again. Men and women helped by God to roll away reproach over your life. Receive of their ministry now. In the name of Jesus Christ. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. You're the King of kings, Lord of Lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Just a moment before I continue, I'm going to ask Pastor Nat to blow that trumpet. And this is a prophetic call for those who are called into the ministry of prophetic worship. Not just singers, not just entertainers. I sense a strong anointing that Davidic order of the anointing songs I know that a lot of people come from Africa to bless the body of Christ but there are people who must rise from here you must hear that sound too there are some of you it's part of your ordination but the moment you arrived here it looked like everything the passion the grace the discernment Mm, there's about to be a resurrection by the spirit of the living God 
you will hear sounds you will receive songs by the spirit and as he blows that shofar i'm releasing my faith that every talent every gift that is in the grave i'm using worship as a point of contact but i'm stretching it to every gift every investment of the spirit you have that was supposed to be the reason why the nation celebrates you but it's been buried for many years it's about to come back to life there will be a resurrection of giftings and graces and abilities investments of the spirit when he gave one one talent and the man buried it he called him a wicked and unprofitable servant you bury seeds not talents you trade with talents and increase talents you bury seeds not talents so i'm praying this call is particularly to those who are called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry but i wanted to extend to anyone here you know you were once gifted there, there there's a grace of god upon your life the works of your hands wisdom and it looks like everything just died it's time for it to come back to life are you ready to receive now yes sir oh let this be a resurrection prophetic psalmist from Leeds, from UK, arise in the name of Jesus. Hear the sounds of the Spirit in the night. Hear the sounds of the Spirit when you wake up. Write songs, songs of power, songs of healing, songs of revival, songs of breakthrough, songs of encounters, songs of Miriam in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be that stirring like it happened to David, the anointed of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive within your spirit psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive within your spirit psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for everyone gifted by God, but your talent has been buried, buried by fear, buried by shame, buried by yesterday's disappointments. I decree and declare right now. That by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every investment of the Holy Spirit upon your life that has been buried by fear, let it jack back to life now. Let there be the opening of graves, the opening of graves, the opening of graves, that that which was dead may it come back to life now. The opening of graves, I decree and declare, the opening of ministerial graves financial graves business graves entrepreneurial graces let it rest upon you now every gift of god buried we command that it just back to life now in the name of jesus christ Don't be tired of receiving. Behold the glory of the Lord. Behold, behold the glory of the Lord. His strength fills the temple. Behold the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Can you see the cloud of glory? Behold the glory of the Lord. His strength fills the temple. Behold the glory of the Lord. Can you see the rising? Shabala balaka parada balakusiata. The glory of the Lord. Behold. 
the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. You know what is happening to you? You're not just shouting Amen. You are literally being immersed. There is, there is an immersion that is happening to you that you may not realize. It is when you step out of this place, before you knock a door, it opens. And now you are wondering what is opening these doors strangely and mysteriously. The value of His presence the value of his glory upon your life the value of his presence make no mistakes about it ladies and gentlemen every investment made to host the presence of god is an advantage to your destiny it's an advantage to your today an advantage to your tomorrow you're surrounded by his glory you look alone but believe me you're surrounded by that glory resting upon you like a hen upon the eggs of a chick waiting for it to hatch hallelujah father in the name of jesus we stand in awe of your wonder walking power in our midst we stand in awe of the things that you have done and the things that you are doing here in Leeds, here in the United Kingdom. Lord, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that in all of this, be glorified. That you, the attention of your people would not stay on men, but that everyone will look unto Jesus the one who is responsible for everything good that is being experienced in this conference we declare be glorified in jesus mighty name we pray please maximizing your destiny a call to fulfill god's purpose beloved today we gather as young adults who are not only full of potential but also anointed and appointed for a divine purpose the world is filled with distractions challenges and uncertainties but the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Psalm 119, 105. Our focus today is on maximizing the destiny that God has entrusted to each of us. We are going to explore how we can live out our purpose and fulfill our divine calling. Number one, understanding destiny in God's kingdom. Before we can maximize our destiny, we must first understand what it means in the context of God's kingdom. Destiny is not just about personal success or achieving worldly goals. It's about aligning our lives with God's will and purpose. Jeremiah 29 11 reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. This scripture highlights that our destiny is God-ordained. It's not something we create, but something we discover as we walk closely with Him. Number 2 embracing your identity in Christ. To maximize your destiny, you must embrace your identity in Christ. The world will try to define you by your past, your failures, or even by the standards of success it upholds. But in Christ, you are a new creation, 2 Corinthians 5:17. Your identity is not based on what you do, but on who you are in Christ. Ephesians 2:10 says, "For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. This means that God has already prepared a path for you to walk in, one that is filled with purpose and meaning. Number three, seeking God's will through prayer and the word. Maximizing your destiny requires a deep and consistent relationship with God. Proverbs 3, 5, 6 advises us, trust in the Lord with all your heart 
and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. Prayer is the vehicle through which we communicate with God, and the Bible is the roadmap for our journey. When you spend time in prayer and in the Word, you align your heart with God's will and gain the wisdom needed to make decisions that are in line with your divine purpose. Number 4. Overcoming Obstacles with Faith and Perseverance Every destiny comes with its challenges, but with faith and perseverance, you can overcome them. James 1 2, 4 encourages us, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. The obstacles you face are not meant to break you, but to build you. They are tools in God's hands to mold your character and strengthen your resolve. Number 5. Surrounding yourself with godly counsel. One of the keys to maximizing your destiny is to surround yourself with people who will encourage, challenge, and support you in your walk with Christ. Proverbs 13.20 says, Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. The company you keep can either propel you toward your destiny or pull you away from it. Seek out mentors, friends, and leaders who will speak life into you and guide you according to the Word of God. Number 6. Serving Others as an Expression of God's Love Our destiny is never solely about ourselves. It's about impacting others for the Kingdom of God. Jesus Himself said in Matthew 20, 28, The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. One of the greatest ways to maximize your destiny is to serve others. When you use your gifts, talents, and resources to bless others, you reflect the love of Christ and fulfill the purpose for which you were created. Number 7. Staying focused on the eternal perspective. As young adults, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of temporal success, career achievements, financial stability, or personal accomplishments. However, maximizing your destiny means keeping your eyes on eternity. Colossians 3 verse 2 instructs us, Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. When you live with an eternal perspective, you make decisions that have lasting value. You invest in relationships, character, and the advancement of God's kingdom rather than in things that will eventually fade away. Number 8. Walking in Obedience and Faithfulness Finally, to maximize your destiny, you must walk in obedience and faithfulness to God's calling. Luke 16 verse 10 says, Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. God looks at our faithfulness in the small things before He entrusts us with greater responsibilities. Obedience is not always easy, but it is necessary. When God calls you to step out in faith, do so knowing that He will equip you for the task and reward your obedience. Conclusion Beloved, the time to maximize your destiny is now. God has placed you in this generation for a reason. You are here to make a difference, to shine His light in a world that desperately needs it. Don't settle for anything less than God's best for your life. Remember that your destiny is not about achieving worldly success, but about fulfilling God's purpose for your life. As you leave today, let the words of Paul in Philippians 3 verse 13 to 14 resonate in your heart. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Press on, beloved. Maximize your destiny and let your life be a testament to the power and glory of God. Amen. Please don't hesitate to like and share our contents. You can follow us on all of our social media platforms at Believers Global TV. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.